one of the most frequent questions I get asked is how do you open or save uh, files and uh, how to create them. This is usually a question that I get from newer users of Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and, and approach it from that perspective. But before I uh, continue, I want to tell you that the, the program I'm using right now is Windows 7, and I will be using Microsoft Word 2010. The screen reader I'm using is non-visual desktop access. The screen reader that I'm using isn't really as as, a, as relevant as you would think because all of the commands I'm going to be using from this point are Windows commands and can be used with JAWS or Windowize or NVDA or Thunder or probably Narrator. I'm really not sure, but they are Windows commands or with just a screen magnification program um, that will not talk. So um, to continue, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to open a Word document. There's, there's several ways you can do it. My preferred method, um, because I don't know if people have shortcuts on their desktop or in their taskbars, is I usually uh, go to the Start menu and type Word. Start menu, RD, Items view, Lee, Taskbar, Pick Document 1 Microsoft. And you'll notice it brings up um, a clean document. It names it Document 1. Usually, what I tell people is to go ahead and press F12 at this point, which is the Save As button. That will allow you to save this document with a name. So, actually, I'm going to do that. Test document and enter. Document one might. So, I'm going to go ahead and type in this document. Okay, so now I'm going to save this because, you know, it doesn't really matter how long the document is. Control S will save. It doesn't always repeat the commands that you do. So that's why I'm kind of telling you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely exit Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to do a Alt F4 to get out. Window. And this places me um, usually on the desktop. So what I'm going to do to open my, uh, my document now that I've saved one is I'm going to go to the desktop, and the fastest way to do that is just to do a Windows key and an M to go to minimize all applications. Desktop list, library L, labels L, logger pro L, libraries checkbox okay. check selected. Now if you notice, I pressed L to find my libraries. Libraries, Enter. items view list documents not checked, not selected, and I'm, the 401 column. I'm in the list view of Windows Explorer which is the file manager for, for Windows. So what I'm going to do is I want to open my documents with D. D. Check items view Enter. list. I now it's going to give us a lot of documents here, uh, folders and things like that. This is a generic account, so there shouldn't be anything specific. So what I'm going to do is um, there's a couple of ways I can open this document. If I remember the name of it, I can type the first letter of the document and move down the list. T. Talk and type or check T. Test document check there 20 of 21. Okay. So I could open it that way. So I'm going to hit enter. Test document and there it is. Word. Okay. Um, another thing that I could do is um, I'm going to actually get out of Word again. Documents. And I'm going to get out of the documents here. Um, I'm going to open Word. Start menu, RD, taskbar, okay. document one micro. There's a couple of ways to open a document from within Microsoft Word. Okay. The first way I'm going to use is a control O. Open dialog document. Now that gives me a uh, Windows Explorer dialog box that I can navigate. If I know the name of my document, I can type it here and it will. Uh, T E. Give me some choices. So if I know it's test document, I can test document dot docs. Oh, there it is. Enter. Test document might. Okay, I found it. 
Um, okay. Well, I want to close it, but I don't want to close Microsoft Word. I just want to close this document, not the whole program. So I'm going to do a Control F4. That closes a window oh, no. within a program. Now, Microsoft Word does not have a document open in it at all. If I try to type, a -A -H. it doesn't work. A I mean, there's just nowhere for it to go. It's like having a typewriter and typing on it without having a piece of paper in it. So that doesn't work out so good. Um, so what we're going to try now is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a control O. Open dialog documents library okay. documents library file name. But now pretend I don't remember the name if I called it test document or whatever. I'm not sure what I called it. So what I need to do is I need to get into the items list where I can pick the document that I want. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a shift tab. Items view list. Header, header, names. Now this button, is the header. Sorted, I want to shift past it. So I'm going to shift tab again. I square, not check, not selected. One now I happen to know that is the first folder in my documents folder. So what I'm going to do is suppose I can't remember the name of it. PC check two of personal well, education of Microsoft check my music there. check my pictures check six okay. of twenty. So oh look it even tells me I'm on six of twenty. So you know it's not going to be that big of a hardship to just arrow my down with through. My with MB share smart tech snagit talking five hundred nineteen white MB set five hundred nine set five set test document check there it nineteen is. of test 20. documents would hit. Microsoft okay. Word. And there Test we are document. again. Okay, there we are again. Test document. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get out of here one more time and show you the final way of opening a document here. So again, Control F4. Unknown. And again, I don't have anything open. One final way to do this is one way that I actually like using um, for for documents that you have used recently. But the more recently you've opened it, the easier it is to open the document. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an Alt F, an Alt F, excuse me. File menu. And then R save, for save recent. Alt R. Recent tab selected. Press F1 for more help. Okay. Alt so I'm in the tab. R. So I'm going to hit a, a tab. Recent grouping. Recent documents grouping to browse for a file. Okay, Click so open. if I had more Test than document. one here, like I said, this is sort of a unused, sort of half dummy account, sort of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, you know, if I had. In this test document button, Puma stash okay. data labels or test. See, this is telling me it's a test document. Just for the sake of argument, I'm actually going to do a down arrow to show you this. Pin this item to the list button, pin this okay. item to the list. Pinning means I can pin an item so that it is always at the top or always readily available within recent documents. You might do something like this for um, something that you use every day or once every week or something like that that you always want to have, you know, more available um, and easily accessed. So you can do that. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead. Test document button, Puma staff data okay. labels, or test unpin this item See, from the list button. See, and then if I go present. down again, I can, I have the option of unpinning it, which I will do. Test document button, Puma. So I don't necessarily want to pin it. But another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a tab again real quick. Pin this item, MRU options grouping. Quickly access this number of recent doc, recent places proven. Okay. Labels this is what I want to show you is the recent places. These are recent folders that you may have been accessing. So uh, maybe you don't want to find a recent document, but you want to open a folder that maybe has a document in it that you've recently accessed. This is just another way to do that. Um, just as a side note, if you're feeling adventurous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just escape. Actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and go back with a shift tab. F test document button. I'll just test open document. that. Why not? So this is my test document again. I've opened it several times, and um, I believe I've done it three different ways. So hopefully this will help with open documents. Um, remember, there's no wrong way to do something as long as it ends up done in the end. There's more than one way to skin a cat. If the way that you like to open a document is not the same way that maybe your friend or significant other likes to do it. It really doesn't 
really matter as long as you get that document open, saved, edited, printed, whatever you need, or sent. So um, that's all for today. So I thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you soon.